ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our edition today of the CSEL. A little bit of Rocket League action for you today on a Thursday evening. It'll be a matchup between two of the top leagues, or two of the top teams in the league here in Central Pennsylvania between Southern Columbia Tigers and the Danville Ironmen, also known as Porgy Danville. We go over the starting lineups for you to give you a little brief rundown. Obviously, Rocket League. Uh, Rocket compelled, rocket propelled car, car playing soccer here basically is how I would uh, basically describe it to anybody who's new to the game. But I'm going to tell you this, you're not going to have much time to go to the bathroom, to go get any chips or anything along that line. Get what you need now because we're going to have ourselves quite... Baller 131, a senior, and then we'll round it off here with a freshman, Nathan Snyder, also known as Iced Brisk. I, too, like Iced Brisk, Nathan. Nonetheless, uh, as I said, now is definitely your time to go get whatever you need. These two teams coming in have been the best two teams in the league. Southern Columbia has just played one matchup so far, but Danville just came off of a big win last week against Shimokin, coming all the way back from 2-0 down to win the series 3-2. Uh, definitely something you don't see very often. Shades of the old uh, Philadelphia Flyers back in 2012 beating the Bruins down 3-0. Hopefully that doesn't ruffle any feathers out there, but nonetheless. So be ready for a lot of action today. Uh, to give you a little bit of a rundown, there is no set goalie for anybody that's new to the game. It's all a rotation-based system in communication. So uh, let's say Nathan Snyder on Danville is back at one point, and then he goes to try to make a run towards net. Well, then, hey, Jacob Keller, also known as Purgatory, has to get back. So, hey, we're out to get ready for it to go here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get her on the screen. Getting things moving along here right away. That one's in towards net. Could be a shot. No. Cleared away. Bottle flip with it now. That ball's driven down into the corner. Fortnite gremlin. He gets destroyed there with no regard for human life. Purgatory putting one in towards net. Could be a dangerous pass. Oh, what a save. Bottle flip. Man, out of nowhere. Saving what should have been a sure goal. Now Purgatory with the chance there as that one centered back in towards the middle and it's cleared by Fortnite gremlin. Flying through the air, and that one's advancing towards the empty net. But it's cleared away effectively by Fortnite Gremlin on the play. He tries to center that one into the middle, and he does. Iced brisk Nathan Snyder putting that one in towards net. Oh, he hits the post. Another post. Man, ball's out in the middle, and what a clear effort there. Quite a flurry from the Danville squad. As that one's pinched up against the wall, put down towards center field. Into the corner it goes. Now it's popped up right in front of net. Nice clearance effort there by Bottle Flip. That one's still bouncing around. Now it's into Soccer Baller 131. Putting one in towards net. That one's going to be on net. What a save! Bottle Flip again. He's got two so far today. Really keeping his team in. Only 2.15 left in this matchup. We've seen a couple of nice shots. A lot of Danville pressure thus far. However, uh, effective saves. They've been up to the task each time from the Tigers' standpoint. As that one off of the wall, he takes a shot towards net. He has been awarded a shot there, but once again, another nice save. As that one cleared away by Soccer Baller 131. He's got a little bit of an attempt at a run here. However, Fortnite Gremlin thwarts any chance of an attack. Shot on net. Oh, crossbar. Just a bit off there, and we almost saw our first goal of this matchup here today. As that one's hit towards net, Fortnite Gremlin deals with it initially, and what a save there! Looked like he was going to get chipped. 
He made the initial effort, could only pop the ball up in the air, but he was there for the second one, ready to go. As that one's hit into on towards net. Soccer baller, 131, opens the scoring. 130 left to go. And although we've seen some crazy shots, you see that little dink right there. A 1-2, and then he popped it right up over the netminder for the Tigers. So one nothing here. Ball is, uh, the faceoff is won there by Southern Columbia, however. Ends up coming back to the Danville side. They'll get possession with it. A bottle flip, putting one in towards uh, a centering attempt. However, it's not going to be there. That one moving in towards net. It's cleared away. Soccer baller, 131. He's had quite a day thus far. He has the uh, most points in a series thus far for Danville this year in their first series. Here, that one's in on net. Oh, post. Man, just that close. Fractions of an inch. Purgatory flying through the air with the aerial there. Somehow controlling it on his car. Now we move to Frosty Winkle. Frosty Winkle puts one in towards net. It's knocked down by bottle flip initially. And now it's cleared down by Purgatory. But cleared right back by Fortnite Gremlin. Only 30 seconds left. They want to tie this one up. They're going to have to do it quick. Soccer baller trying to put one in towards looking for Purgatory to come in behind him. Couldn't quite connect. And now Frosty Winkle trying to get a late equalizer here for the Tigers. That one's shot down towards the net. Wow, what a save flying coming out of nowhere. Fortnite Gremlin. That one's in on net. What a save. Bottle flip with his third of the game. We have four seconds left. Into the middle of the field it goes. Still moving around. Let's see who gets to it next. And that one finally touches the turf. And Danville come out victorious in the first game of this series. One to nothing. We saw quite a lot of shots. Six saves from Bottle Flip. Three Fortnite Gremlins. So nine shots by Danville. Seven by Soccer Baller 131. Man, oh man. Uh, Nate, uh, excuse me, Evan Klinger is just absolutely all over the place right now. I don't know how he found time to also have a save in there as well, but that's just what happens when you're, uh, when you're that good, I suppose. As we're getting ready here for game two of the action, one nil down the Tigers, but... I would expect after watching that first matchup, these two teams are pretty darn evenly matched. So we're gonna have to see. Uh, we're gonna have to see what we find in the second one. As we're off and running, Soccer Baller 131 with the first touch, as it's uh, touched there, right in front of the blue goal. That one's hit towards the net of of the Ironmen. That one now shot on goal. Fortnite Gremlin with a save. Popped up into the air, Purgatory trying to get somebody to come on to a ball there. However, no one around. Cleared away by Soccer Baller 131. Oh, a nice move off the wall there. What car control. As this rotation situation right now, both these defenses are perfectly in sync. Is that ball in on net? Shoots, he scores! Bottle flip, knocking that one in. For Danville again or excuse me, for the Tigers. Bottle flip, of course, Jaron Ferrer, the senior for the Tigers, putting this one up one nothing. We saw a goal a little bit quicker than last game here as Purgatory comes flying through the air. That ball might be in on net. Just a little bit high from Purgatory. However, soccer baller 131 flying through the air. Soccer baller just wide of net. Would have been saved by bottle flip anyways. He's already got six today, so I mean... You can't really expect anything less. As that one in on net, cleared away initially. Now Soccer Baller 131 trying to put one in. Bottle flip with another clearance effort. Purgatory flying through the air. You question how he hits it half the time. Soccer Baller 131. That one, a nice job by Fortnite Glemler to put it in on net. It's cleared away effectively by the Iron Men. And now... Nathan Snyder, Ice Brist is off and running. He tries to dribble with it on the top of his car. He lets one off for Purgatory just off the top of the car that time. Now Nathan Snyder with a shot on goal. He shoots, he scores! Ice Brist. Must have been lemon iced tea that time because things were a little bit sour for the Tigers. A nice job finishing into the side netting by the freshman. You certainly couldn't tell that he's a freshman.
as now Purgatory off of the face-off. Oh, just wide, almost scoring directly off of the uh, initial go-about of it there. Now that one's hit towards net, cleared away. A nice job of teamwork there, bouncing off of one another. Fortnite Gremlin eventually getting the clearance effort there. That one put back in towards net. Into the corner it goes, Purgatory trying to hit a clearance in. A nice job by Bottle Flip. He has the lone goal thus far. Frosty Winkle now with a clearance effort, and soccer baller 131. Once again, that ball's going to be right out in front of net. Oh, what a pass. Just missed by soccer baller 131. An excellent, excellent effort there by the Ironmen to uh, get that ball out in front of net, get them a chance. Purgatory just underneath of it. And that one's up in net, and what an unfortunate bounce for the Ironmen. But the Tigers take the lead. Fortnite Gremlin with his first of the day. As we can see here, just an unfortunate bounce for uh, for Danville, but guess what? That's Rocket League, straight off the wall, straight down, and an excellent goal there by Chase Conway, the senior for the Tigers. As that ball almost hit in on towards net, but Fortnite Gremlin making a, a save on his own shot. That one up above the crossbar, just barely, almost on net. A nice clear by Purgatory there as he gets back in his rotation. And a nice save, Soccer Baller 131. That one was going on towards net. Wasn't hit the hardest, but still got to make those saves. 2.15 remaining. A little bit more scoring in this one so far, as you can see, as that one's going to be put on towards net there. Iced Brisk, however, knocking it away. Now Purgatory chasing after it. He gets the shot in towards net. He shoots just wide. Man, what a small margin of error there. A really great effort by uh, Purgatory trying to get that ball just nestled away into the corner wherever he couldn't. We're up and running, though. No time to waste as a soccer baller 131 for the Ironmen trying to get this tied up with 145 to go. Pretty even, uh, pretty evenly distributed uh, who's been in each attacking half thus far. Both teams, as we said, they're both uh, not much between them. What a shot! Oh, my goodness! How did he get it from that angle? Soccer baller 131, have yourself a day, son. I mean, that angle is almost impossible. It was knocked in by Bottle Flip there, but at the same time, to even get that thing close to the net when you're almost at an angle completely to the side of it is unbelievable. As we're knotted up at two here. Purgatory clearing it in. Now Bottle Flip with the attempted shot. Oh, soccer baller just getting in the way and uh, very fortunate for the Ironmen. He was their last line of defense. But that's why you have your rotation down. Oh, what a save by Fortnite Kremlin. But it ends up getting knocked in by Bottle Flip. Oh, and that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, unfortunately. An unbelievable job by Fortnite Kremlin to get up. And that ball looks like it's going to end up going wide. But you can't take that risk if you're, uh, if you're Bottle Flip there. And now, just like that, the Ironmen snatch the lead right back. Face off one by Soccer Baller 131. Frosty Winkle with the shot. <laughs> Excuse me. I almost ended up knocked in by Frosty Winkle. I got myself a little discombobulated with uh, where we were going. An unfortunate sequence of events that looked like Frosty Winkle may have thought that Bottle Flip was going to end up getting to that one. But it's just so tough when you, you, know, you have to fly through the air and you only have so much boost left. As that one's popped up, could be a dangerous position. Purgatory flying for it against Bottle Flip, and Purgatory wins the battle. As that one's centered into the middle, Iced Brisk getting a shot off as Danville now leading by two, scoring uh, four of the last five goals in this one. That ball's popped up into the air. Frosty Winkle centers it in towards the middle. No good there. Soccer baller. Oh, man, if he would have... Finished that on a one-touch. That would have been something else. Tries to pinch it up against the wall there. Oh, a nice clearance by Frosty Winkle as that ball may have gone in. There's no one in net for Danville. Bottle flip chasing it. He hits it high. And now Fortnite Gremlin. No, just why Frosty Winkle. He shoots. He scores. Some sustained pressure in the offensive half there for the Tigers. And we have ourselves a ball game. Don't look away just yet, 24 seconds. That's about a millennium in Rocket League. As the player's ready for the face-off here, it's Purgatory and Bottle Flip chasing after it. That one's popped up to Ice Brisk. Ice Brisk has a chance at net. What a save, Fortnite Gremlin. And he clears it all the way down, which could give the Tigers a chance. But it ends up being cleared away by who else but 
Soccer baller, 131. Evan Klinger's having himself a day today. Now Fortnite Gremlin off the wall and cleared away by Purgatory. Three, two, one. Ball game. So Danville taking the early 2-0 lead right here. Behind the unbelievable play of soccer baller, 131. He had 506, two goals, two saves, three shots on net. Fortnite Gremlin with a goal and an assist and three saves on the Southern Columbia side. Bottle flip scored the first one of the day. And man, Danville just really all the way around. You can't really tell between your best player and your worst player on Danville. There's not much going on right now. Same with Southern. Um, it's just right now the ball's bouncing the way of the Ironmen, if you will. As we... Uh, Get ready to go here today for the third matchup of this series of five. This is the elimination game. Let's see what the Tigers are made up of. This is a lot of pressure. Fortnite Gremlin putting one in towards Cage. It's now Ice Brisk looking to clear it. Bottle flip. A shot towards net. Purgatory says no. Now flying after it. Fortnite Glemson. Gremlin clears it into the corner. As that one centered out in front of net, but it's cleared away by Bottle Flip. And an excellent attempt at a bank shot there off of the wall. Is now Purgatory trying to center one in towards net. Luckily back, and that's the rotation right there. When Ice Brisk is not moving in towards the net, someone's got to be back to make sure they don't have a wide open net. That ball's popped up in the air. Soccer Baller 131. Oh, almost an attempt at net there by Soccer Baller. Looks like he's in uh, an armored car there. Iced Brisk, Nathan Snyder with an attempt. Oh, what a save. Bottle Flip, he met the ball at the high point there. If you were a receiver's coach, you would have been happy. As now Fortnite Gremlin wanted to get one in on Cage. He destroys, per, uh, excuse me, he destroys Purgatory there. Or Purgatory destroys Fortnite Gremlin, excuse me. As that one's in on Cage, soccer baller just wide. Fortnite Gremlin just air rolling around it. And for those of you at home that don't know what an air roll is, it's when you're in flying there, you can roll to each side. Uh, is that one's in on net? Just a bit wide. Purgatory trying to fly in and make a play on the ball. However, he just couldn't quite get there. And now Fortnite Gremlin putting it back towards the Danville Ironman half. But Danville... Gets possession back. They've really dominated possession. That one's wide open in front of net. What a goal. That one's set up perfectly by Ice Brisk. And Soccer Baller 131 cleaning things up there for him. That's one where you got to tip your cap to your buddy and the freshman for Danville with an assist. And that makes it 1 0. Danville getting the first one of this one. Soccer Baller 131 just ran out of boost there. Now Purgatory. Oh, Frosty Winkles there. And now Ice Brisk with an attempt towards net. Just wide, trying to center it out in front. Cleared away by Bottle Flip and company. It's Fortnite Gremlin now. Purgatory flying off the wall and just knocking it down just enough as Soccer Baller 131. It's two versus one here. He's going to try to chip him. Oh, what a save almost. My goodness, Frosty Winkle out of nowhere. And for those of you at home, what Soccer Baller just did there is not easy. Going with the aerial dribble right there. Just chipping it right over top of the goalkeeper. And in that case, there's not much you can do. Uh, you can only uh, react so quickly and get so high up there. You can't really use much boost. And it was almost saved by Frosty Winkle out of nowhere. Unfortunately for him, it just got tucked away into that side of the cage. As now Purgatory would attempt towards net. It's not on. Frosty Winkle putting it towards the middle. That one's in towards goal. Looked like it might have been wide as Ice Brisk with it now. Saved away by Fortnite Gremlin. Purgatory off the wall to himself. Oh, he's just wide. Would have been quite a goal there with the self-service. As now Bottle Flip looking to get out and run, but Ice Brisk Nathan Snyder won't let him. Purgatory now, trying to center one in towards Cage. It's three Ironmen versus none. Purgatory puts it away. He started the run there, and he finished it off just as well. Could have been Purgatory, could have been Ice Brisk, but maybe you give it to the senior instead of the freshman there. A soccer baller 131, and 
bottle flip, chasing after it. That one's going to be in towards Cage. It's cleared away. Now it's out towards the middle. Oh, just missed Purgatory. Just a bit underneath of it. As Purgatory gets a demolition there. Ball's in on the Danville half. That one's popped up over top. Fortnite Gremlin trying to do everything himself down there. Trying to chip over top and then find a way to get onto it. He couldn't quite, however. Ice Brisk centering one in. That one could be on Cage. What a save, Fortnite Gremlin. That one was going to be top corner. Some would call it Ched right there into the top corner. Trying to get the goal explosion going. Is that one centered out in front of net? The Tigers with much better pressure here. They're down by three with just a minute left. They got to get something going. But Danville is deadly on the counterattack. Now that ball could be on Cage chasing after it. Purgatory, and he handles it with ease. And you can surely tell why he is a season 14 grand champion uh for those of you not familiar with the rocket league system he uh is pretty darn good let's just say that definitely better than me ice brisk now the freshman chasing after just 44 seconds left the iron man looking to sweep away the tigers and as of now things are looking good soccer baller 131 puts the exclamation point on that one from half field 75 miles an hour an absolute rocket Pun intended. Four to nothing, Danville lead. Attempting to go with a uh, sort of a faking situation there where you fake as if you're going to hit the ball and let somebody else do it to confuse the other face-off man, but it didn't work out for the Ironman. With 20 seconds left, it looks like Danville's going to pull away in this one and uh, get a win in the series, barring anything crazy happening, but I've seen crazier. As now Soccer Baller 131, he wants another! No! Bottle flip with another save. He had six in the first game, for heaven's sakes. He's got a couple more now. Ice Chris, that one's going to pop over his car. It's in! Fortnite Gremlin puts one in. Might just be a consolation. Might just be a consolation for the crew from Southern Columbia, but this Danville team looked like a well-oiled machine right now. Because with just six seconds left, ball is going to bounce around. And the Ironmen today, I would say in that second game, they got a little fortunate with some bounces, but they're just constantly rotating and being back at the uh, back at the cage. They don't allow those long goals, and someone's always there. And they're not afraid to just get that ball out of there. As Soccer Baller 131 with yet another player of the game, he had himself a hat trick on four shots. Purgatory with a close second at 421, a goal, an assist, and a save. Four saves from Bottle Flip, no goals, but that's he has to have some crazy save numbers with six in the first game and several in the second. So that'll do it for our A game, if you will, right now, with a Danville winning 3-0. And that's really impressive from Danville with how great Southern's looked so far this year. Roard Roadarmal, I'm sorry, man. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. I tried my best, though. Also known as YY Wonka. He's a senior. And then Landon Ferreira, Landon FO213, a sophomore. For Danville, Gavin Fry, Blicky RL. He's a sophomore. Brian Myers, Drum for Life 9. He's a senior. And Jonah Weaver, Dumping Core. He's a junior. So we're about to get ready to go one and one uh, for Danville thus far this year in, in the matchup. Um, in the B League, Southern Columbia 1-0, having just just had one match thus far. So thanks for everybody for tuning in here today. This is uh, the CSEL. It's an eSports league here in the central Susquehanna Valley. 
For anybody tuning in uh, to support the support the league, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Um, as you can see, quite a lot of good Rocket League players around the area, and the amount of teamwork that goes into these matchups is just ridiculous. You know, the whole rotation situation. I know for someone who may be watching at home, it might not seem like much, but to be able to understand and communicate, hey, I'm going up for a run to go try to score a goal right here. Um, I don't have any boost. I got to go back and go guard the net. I mean, those little things like that, it's not exactly an easy task. Uh, definitely a very fun game. A uh, very fun game, a lot of action. It doesn't take up, it's not like going out and trying to play a whole game of Madden or FIFA or something. You need about eight minutes. About eight minutes and you have a chance uh, to get a game in. And so far here this year with the inaugural year of the CSEL, everything's been going spectacular. And uh, we really thank you for your support. Yeah, I think if we had to go with a player of the series for the first one, I don't think it's going to come as a surprise to anybody, but that's got to be Evan Klinger. Evan Klinger uh, put up the top numbers in each game between both teams, the player of the game, if you will, the MVP for each game. Whether it was knocking a, knocking a, a clear, or excuse me, a centering effort away from the middle of the cage or hitting a long ball to have somebody run onto it or... Nailing one from half field at 80 miles an hour. Uh, that's uh, that's just the type of the type of play you'll see here in uh, in the CSEL. As I said, Danville uh, in the A A League played Shamokin last week. Another another team from the area. As we're about to get uh, about to get ready to go here, um, as we said, the Tigers one and zero in the B League. Pretty nice little matchup. And the other good thing about uh, the CSEL is it gives kids another outlet to work on that teamwork, work on building your skills for later on in life, whether it's communication with someone you're working with, whether it be um, going out and just working hard, or just that camaraderie of being a part of something. It's definitely been uh, a great thing to see for a, a lot of gamers out there, um, a lot of gamers in the central Susquehanna Valley. So hopefully... Hopefully things keep rising. We do have the district uh, tournament coming up here in a couple weeks as well, which will feature, uh, I believe, six teams? Five teams, excuse me, with hopefully a couple more to come. So, hey, anybody out there listening that's a student locally in the area, get on your school. Tell them, hey, we're, we're interested in an eSports league as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the players have arrived at the facility from the comfort of their own homes, and we're ready to go for the B-round matchup here between Danville and Southern Columbia. Ragey the Cracker putting one in, 
trying to center something there. Why, why, Wonka? Going after it, however, now it's going to be back towards the cage of the Ironman. That ball in towards net. Oh, what have been an unbelievable goal. Why, why, Wonka almost air rolling out of nowhere at the top crossbar to just touch that one in ever so delicately. Just couldn't get a touch on it with the, uh, the back right tire. As that one's put in, wow, and a lot of pressure here. Thus far to start for the Tigers. Cleared away by Blizzy RL. Ragey the Cracker. Chasing after it. Now Griff 5-2-2. He's going to try to put a centering effort. It's a good one as well. Oh, just missed. Now that one's going to go into the corner. And now an attempted shot there. A little bit of self-service from Ragey the Cracker. That ball put in towards the middle. Blizzy RL, though, with the clearance effort. Yet again, Ragey the Cracker putting one in towards Cage. It could be a shot at goal. No, no one can get to it. It's still bouncing around out in front. Chasing after it now. Dumping core. Dumping core. Might have a chance to shoot off the wall here, but Ragey the Cracker says no. Dumping core does pop it up, though. A very tantalizing ball there, but a lack of boost has caused the uh, Danville team to retreat. Just missing with it there. Now that one's out in front of Cage. Ragey the Cracker. Ragey the Cracker. He's been all over the place so far, causing issues for the Ironman defense. And Ragey the Cracker there just finishing over top of the car of the Ironman defender. And it's one nothing Tigers here in game one of this five-game series. Blizzy RL and Griff 5-2-2. That one's out in front. Right at uh, midfield line there. A really nice effort. Getting that one in towards Cage. What a pass. Ragey the Cracker chasing after it. He can't get to it. Now Drum for Life 9 has a chance. He centers that one. It's back down into the corner. Blizzy RL takes a shot towards net. Oh, just missing. Ragey the Cracker there yet again. He chips his defender. That one's in towards an open net. It could be Ragey the Cracker again. And what an excellent effort there. The old double tap over top of the defender. The defender, of course, uh, may have may have destroyed Ragey the Cracker, but I'm sure at the end of the day, uh, he'll be happy that he uh, took one for the team, if you will, to give them a 2-0 lead. Now, Ragey the Cracker out of nowhere. That one's hopping up and toward the net. Wow. Ragey the Cracker with what a game. Now, why, why, Wonka? Drum for life, nine, clearing it away. That one's out in front of Cage. Why, why Wonka clearing it initially? Drum for Life Nine, giving Danville a little bit of a uh, little bit of offensive pressure. They haven't had too much. Ragey the Cracker's been all over the place. Why, why Wonka shot, um, knocking that one up in the air? Now Griff five two two trying to get a clearance effort. He does. Ball is still on the Tigers' half, however. Ragey the Cracker. Drum for life nine with a nice pass there, but uh, Griff with the uh, nice job of reading that play out before anything untoward happened. Ragey the Cracker clearing it down to the other side. He's going to chase after it himself. Maybe a little bit of self-service here. He backs himself out. A nice clear by Blizzy RL. Why, why Wonka trying to get it back into the Danville half, and he does, but it's cleared away by Drum for Life 9. Now, why, why Wonka trying to clear it away. Drum for Life 9 in a foot race. Oh, what a centering pass into the middle. Blizzy RL, he shoots, he scores! What an unbelievable pass there by Drum for Life 9. That's Brian Myers feeding that one off. To, uh, to Blizzy RL, Gavin Fry, senior to sophomore. It's YY Wonka and Drum for Life 9. YY Wonka might put this one in towards Kajo. A great job by Blizzy RL getting back in front. Oh, a shot attempt just would have been over the crossbar. However, a really impressive clearance by Blizzy RL. But Griff 522 trying to put that one back in towards the cage. To no avail, however, Drum for Life 9. Almost a Schmettering attempt. That one's... Oh, wow. That one would, I think, hit top right crossbar. Wouldn't quite have twiddled the twine, if you will. However, was a nice save 
as that one hit in towards the middle. Griff 5-2-2. It's running towards the Danville net. It's got a chance at goal. Dumping core puts it in. We got ourselves a tie game with 53 seconds left here, people. Hey, don't check your phone. Put it on airplane mode. All right. It's time. We got to sit down and watch this one. We got 50 seconds left. We're down to the nitty gritty, as my grandma would say. Ragey the Cracker versus Drum for Life 9. Dr Blizzy RL popping it up over top of the car of a Tigers defender. as two straight goals for the Ironmen, and we have ourselves a tie game. Ragey the Cracker, who's been a standout in this one thus far. Why, why, Wonka? It's going to have to be cleared away by Blizzy RL. He does clear it away, but why, why, Wonka is there to put it out in front and center it again. Ragey the Cracker, oh, just off his left driver's side tire. This ball put in towards the middle. The Tigers really uh, putting a lot of pressure on here. Dumping core, trying to clear it away. He was unable. That one's going to be in towards Cage, but Ragey the Cracker is ready for it and clears it away effectively off the wall. Oh, wow. If that ball comes off the, the front right tire of that car, that one could be a, a game ender as we still have a chance to win it. Oh, my goodness. The action here, and it's sudden death overtime. Sudden death overtime between the Tigers and the Ironmen here in the first game of the B game. This is the action we've been waiting for right here. Why, why, Wonka trying to keep it in the Tigers' offensive half. He can't, however, as dumping core chasing after it. Ball's popped up into the air. Ragey the Cracker with a chance on net. Oh, he just needed one more touch, and he has himself a goal there, and we're on to game two. But instead... It's saved away by the Ironmen. Now, why, why, Wonka? Saved! Oh, my goodness! What a bit of teamwork there from the Ironmen. Almost an own goal right there, but Blizzy RL was in the right place at the right time. And it was the right man for the job. As that one's put in towards Cage, Ragey the Cracker hits two crossbars! Cleared away by Blizzy RL! Oh, this game, man. <laughs> this game. Blizzy RL trying to clear it. Why, why, Wonka had a chance on net. It's out in front. Oh, wow. An exceptional and necessary clearance effort there by Blizzy RL. Now, Drum for Life 9 trying to apply the pressure here. However, Griff 522 clears it away. Why, why, Wonka with it now. Gets underneath of it, tries to keep it in the half. Oh, a nice job by Griff. But now, the Ironmen look to go with it. That one could be close to Cage. <coughs> that one's in! Tigers win! Tigers win! Why, why, Wonka? After a goal like that, going up and getting it, and with such touch right there, he might have the Ironmen asking, why, why, that? So, Ragey the Cracker... He's a Season 3 Diamond Tournament winner, for anybody that knows what that means. Pretty impressive, actually. YY Wonka with a goal, two goals for Ragey the Cracker, but Ragey the Cracker with an impressive 679 final score. Absolutely dominating by over 270 from the closest. As that's Cage Bernhard, the freshman. The fantastical freshman, if you like alliteration. As we're about to get ready for game two with the Tigers leading one to nil in the series. And wow, this B game, a lot of action so far. That one's popped up the middle. Blizzy RL may have a chance at goal. Oh, Blizzy RL scores. We lost it there because of the demolition. But Blizzy RL through the contact, count it, and the foul. So Blizzy RL, of course, no foul there, actually. Just a figure of speech. But Blizzy RL just four seconds into this one. Already giving the Ironmen a lead. Looking to knot this series up at one. Drum for life now. And why, why, Wonka with it in the corner. Blizzy RL has scored that first goal off of the faceoff. Oh, an attempted shot here by Griff522. He guts up to it. But it's cleared away. Drum for life nine. That one's in on cage. Needs to be saved. Griff522. With the play, the right man for the job. 
as he gets it there. Oh, Blizzy RL with a cheeky bit of a touch there. Oh, Trump for life nine! Out of nowhere! Took a deflection, an unfortunate deflection, off of a Tigers player right there. Not much YY Wonka can do. I mean, he hit it perfectly. The angle just wasn't there for him, unfortunately. So an excellent effort. As that one's going to go over top of the cage. YY Wonka looking to cut into this deficit. 2-0. <coughs> Ragey the Cracker going after that one, just missing. And now Danville has an opportunity with no one out in front of that. What a pass to Dumping Core! Dumping Core tries the chip shot. It's no good. Blizzy RL! Count it! The sustained pressure has been a little bit ridiculous from Danville. In this one, they look like a completely different team out there. Constant pressure. Just a minute into this one, a minute and one into this one. 3 0 Danville leading. But four minutes is almost five years in Rocket League time for anybody who knows. As Ragey the Cracker trying to chase after this one. Dumping Core trying to get a clearance effort. Oh, Ragey the Cracker almost doing it all himself. Now why, why, Wonka putting it up over. Oh, he tries to go hit it off the top of the wall there and go after it himself. Just missing it. They need someone back. Ragey the Cracker is back. He's up to the task there of clearing it. Now Blizzy RL from the wall. He's got a chance at it. Oh, he goes to try to go with the old two-touch right there. Off the wall. Almost flying two and dunking it in over top. Oh, another attempted shot by Drum for Life 9. The Iron Men have woken up here. And that one's cleared in by Ragey the Cracker. Ragey the Cracker still going after it, but an excellent clearance effort by Dumping Core. That one's going to be in towards the Ironman cage, but it's cleared rather easily by, excuse me, by the Tiger's cage. It's cleared rather easily by YY Wonka. He may have a chance here. That one's going to go in on cage. The bank effort. No one's out in front of goal. Oh, Griff 522 couldn't put it home. An excellent pass by YY Wonka. Unfortunately for the Tigers couldn't get it in drum for life nine now clearing it down towards the tigers half griff 522 just missing now ragey the cracker oh if he can just get past these two blizzy rl doing a great job of knocking ragey the cracker off of his path that time because if that ball gets through those two well guess what it's three to one just two minutes remaining the action has slowed down a skosh thus far however not too much as Blizzy RL trying to get it in towards Cage. Ragey the Cracker. And now Griff 522 crushing it down into the corner. Could be an attempt at a shot here. Oh, just high for Griff 522. Off the crossbar. It's still out in front. Oh, what a pass from Ragey the Cracker. Could it be? Oh, Drum for Life 9 is there. That would have been something crazy. An unbelievable pass from Ragey the Cracker. That one's going to be close as well. As the Tigers are back into that offensive Veros uh, veracity, excuse me, that we saw earlier on in this one. Ragey the Cracker clearing it into the corner. Now it's out in front. That's a dangerous spot. Oh, he clears it away. Excellent use of his boost there. Ragey the Cracker clearing it. Why, why Wonka's there. Up to the task. Now Ragey the Cracker. Oh, he just misses wide with it. It's going to pop out rather far. Why, why Wonka now towards net. He can't put it in. Now Griff 522 at the back post, saved by Drum for Life 9. Now Drum for Life 9 now has an attempt. It was saved though, as that one's going to go back out in the middle. Blizzy RL pops it up over top. Why, why, Wonka? He schmetters it into the middle there. As Blizzy RL, the only one back here with it right now. He does miss, however. Griff 522 looking to get a clearance effort in. It's popped back into the middle by Danville. Just 45 seconds to go here. Ragey the Cracker trying to maybe get a consolation out of it. Still 30 seconds. Still some time to get some goals here. We saw, oh, a shoots, he scores. Why, why, Wonka? There he is. You know what they say. Speaking of the devil, there he is. Why, why, Wonka? With an excellent effort from the wall there. I mean, that is what you call touch people. Finesse. Finesse with about seven S's for that matter. Maybe two E's. Who knows? That one into the middle. Drum for life nine trying to clear it in. 
We already saw that. This could be a chance on goal here, but an excellent effort by Griff522 to clear it. It's out in front of net. There's no one there. Ragey the Cracker. Oh, he misses high. That could have made things pretty interesting. They still have a chance. Oh, an excellent effort by YY Wonka. Ragey the Cracker's there, but the clearance was huge. Griff522 saved away. Ragey the Cracker back into the middle. No goal, man. This Danville Ironman defense looking crazy so far. They've sustained quite a lot of pressure. Still a chance to score here, but Danville winning the second game of five. We got ourselves a 1-1 series. Not much between the two teams here today. So we're going to have to come back and uh, see what we got going on. Obviously, Blizzy RL there, 474, two goals and assist to save, four shots on net with 76 ping. Now 140, for those of you who don't know, that's kind of how fast your internet's going. So, Pretty impressive there by Blizzy RL. <coughs> As we're getting ready to go here for game three of this B action in the CSEL, Central Susquehanna Esports League. We got that nice cinematic view of the cars there, and we're off and running. That one's going to be centered right out in front of goal. It's Griff 522. Last game, he watched Blizzy RL score in four seconds. Griff 522, he's like, all right, man, I'm going to do it in three for you. Three seconds in, we already got ourselves our first goal. And some would say maybe a fortunate bounce for the Tigers there, but so is life. What a job. No one went. That one's going to be in towards Cage. Blizzy RL, though, is up to the task. YY Wonka trying another shot. Just missing. Running after it. Excuse me. Flying after it. Ragey the Cracker. Trying to pick it off the ceiling. Now Griff522, the goal scorer here so far. Clearing it away. That one's into the middle. Blizzy RL has a chance. Oh, an essential touch that time by one of the Ironman defender. Didn't catch the name on it, but an essential job there of clearing that one away. This one going down towards... The uh, Danville net. Why, why Wonka with a chance? He shoots. He scores. Why, why Wonka? An excellent effort there. Contorting his car with a little bit of an air roll situation. Just nipping the front of the car. Want the fastest goal you're ever going to see. But guess what? It still counts the same. <coughs> Ball popping in towards the Danville half here. In on cage, why, why Wonka? He, why, why Wonka says, why, why not two for me? As the Tigers bringing some of the momentum from the end of the last game into this one. They gave up three goals early on within the first minute and then didn't uh, score the last two. That one's in on cage, Ragey the Cracker. Why, why Wonka, what a save! What a save! That one was on the goal line. 87% of the ball is across, but an Ironman defender is there. Drum for life nine, trying to center it in towards the middle. Why, why Wonka? He's all over the place thus far. Blizzy RL. Oh, what a job by Griff522. An absolutely essential job. Oh, that one could be in on net. Dumping core. Can't save it, Griff522. Yeah, the second two is for the amount of goals he has in this one. That's his second of the day. Dumping core, what an excellent job. Once you get into the goal like that, you, if you don't have any boost, you have no clue which way to turn your car or do anything. I can tell you this, I wouldn't have saved it. Why, why, Wonka now? That one's centered into the middle. A schmettering pass! Ragey the Cracker! The Tigers' offense coming alive in this one. Some would say they, some would say they've awoken the beast, if you will, in an unfortunate Schmenering pass. For those of you that don't know, Schmenering, of course, is when an, a defensive player, incidentally, of course, uh, centers a ball towards the middle and uh, passes it um, for a goal. I do that rather frequently. Now, why, why Wonka? Ragey the Cracker with the goal. Why, why Wonka chasing? And the Tigers really pouring it on in this one. And a really unfortunate touch right there for the Ironmen. 
It hits the Iron Man defender's front of his car, then Ragey the Cracker makes contact. Gets destroyed, takes one for the team, but he died a hero because he did score the goal. 5-0 to score. Tigers leading. Looking to go up 2-1 to one in this series and get to the elimination game. YY Wonka, it's cleared away by Ragey the Cracker. Ragey the Cracker, one-on-one. -on -one. <coughs> Centers it into the middle. Oh, a nice job, Drum for Life 9. Now Drum for Life 9 with a shot on net, saved away. He keeps it in play, however. In play for them, at least, for the Ironmen. Is that ball in towards Cage? Excuse me, in towards the, the center, not the Cage, my goodness. As now we see the Ironmen getting a little bit more offensive pressure sustained. As that one, Griff 5 2 2 chasing it. Oh, an excellent and essential uh, touch right there. Ragey the cracker centering one. He tries to self service. It's still out in front. No one's gotten to it yet. Ragey the cracker just missing with the wheels of his car. Now Blizzy RL with the initial clearance. That one's shot down towards Cage. An excellent job, Griff 5-2-2. It might have been wide, but you got to hit that anyways. <coughs> it's now just 135 remaining in the 5 nothing game as YY Wonka shoots one in towards Cage. Nice job, Blizzy RL is there up to the task. But now if you're Danville, you're looking, hey, Although we might not be able to score five goals in this minute and 20, well, let's take some momentum into the next one. Now, I've also seen weirder things happen, so this one isn't over yet. But I will say, uh, you know, you got to get a little bit more sustained offensive pressure here. Get you some momentum going on into the next game. As that one shot out in front of the cage, oh, just missing it. The Iron Men, they've had the last several chances in this one, but Ragey the Cracker with a full set of boost, just missing it wide. As he takes the jump off the wall, but Blizzy RL clears it. As that one's going to go back towards the Ironman cage. That one's out wide open. No one's in net. Griff 5 2 2. Call it a hat trick. Have a day, Griff 5 2 2. That's uh, Griffin Romania, the senior. Putting it in, he's the alternate for the B team, and he's in today, and let me tell you, he's having himself a day today. That one's going to be interesting ball there. Ragey the Cracker clears it, but Drum for Life 9 tries to keep it in. Now Danville does effectively keep the ball in here. It's out in front of Cage, saved away. That one shot towards net. It's in Ragey the Cracker. Ragey the Cracker with yet another one. That's Cage Bernhard with another goal for him. 7-0 <coughs> nothing the score here. The beautiful thing about Rocket League is, although you may have lost this game, Make it 8-0. to zero. Griff 5-2-2 just scores. Well, guess what? Next game is a completely different five minutes if you're the Ironmen, and you still got a couple games to go. As I said last week, the Danville A team down 2 to nothing to Shimokin to start that series. They come back with three consecutive victories to end up taking it. As Ragey the Cracker, with nine seconds left, eight. Ragey the Cracker. Now, this one's still alive in the corner, but the Tigers end up winning this one by the final of 7 to nothing. Excuse me, 8 to nothing. But if you're Danville, guess what? You wipe the memory clean and you come back for five more minutes right after this one. As I said, it's the beautiful thing about the game. You don't, you know. You're not sitting there for an extremely long period of time where you have to wait a long time till your next match comes. Well, guess what? Everybody's just about ready to go uh, as we, you know, ready to go pretty directly, especially in something like this. And the other thing is, hey, there's no facilities you have to rent out. Um, 
the only thing you have to do is sit at your house and uh, be able to play Rocket League. <laughs> Gotta have Wi-Fi too, of course. We're about to get going with game four of five, the elimination game. Why, why, Wonka knocking it up, then Ragey the Cracker knocking it in toward the Iron Man half. Blizzy RL with a booming hit. Now he might try some self service here. He's going to have a chance. Why, why, Wonka clears it away just by himself, dashing it up to himself. Now Ragey the Cracker, oh, that ball might be on net. Why, why, Wonka is going to have a chance. He centers into the middle to Ragey the Cracker. He shoots, he scores. What? Teamwork from the Tigers. The unselfishness of this play is ridiculous. Why, why, Wonka? Well, maybe he's trying to attempt towards goal there. Doesn't matter in Rocket League. He left it off perfectly for Ragey the Cracker, and Ragey the Cracker doesn't do too much missing. <laughs> Ragey the Cracker with the chip attempt. He didn't get enough on it, however, and Dumping Core was ready for it. The Ironman had two back in net. Now Griff 522 looking to clear it. Dumping Core is there waiting though. He steals it away. Trying to go for the centering attempt but Dumping Core has no boost left. As Ragey the Cracker with almost a full set of boosts chasing it. YY Wonka just missing. Now Ragey the Cracker gets to it. He's trying to dribble through some traffic. Literally traffic. It's now Drum for Life 9. This is a great centering attempt right here. And he flicks it on just enough. Oh, it was a great clearance there just to get that one off of net. That one's way up over goal, but guess what? That's a great clearance, excuse me, a great centering effort there. But it's clay to what cleared away by Ragey the Cracker. There's Drum for Life 9. It's kept in the offensive zone by YY Wonka. Ragey the Cracker had an effort that went wide. Just one nothing the score here. 330 remaining. Griff 522 with an excellent effort. The shot by YY Wonka saved away by Blizzy RL. Now Ragey the Cracker with another enticing ball in. Griff 522 cleaning up the trash there. The rebound attempt, the attempted clearance by Danville, and the job by YY Wonka to go up and challenge the ball right there. If he doesn't challenge that ball right there, then it doesn't just pop right up in the air onto the front of the car of Griff 522. That ball could be up in the ceiling. And then the whole timing of the play is off. So the Tigers showcasing some of that teamwork and the ability to communicate and figure things out. You know, it's a lot of problem solving, a lot of, a lot of angle-based systems here. And the Tigers are doing quite the job thus far as Ragey the Cracker has an open net. He shoots, he scores! Ragey the Cracker is a man possessed right now. The helper from YY Wonka. As that one's down towards the Danville end. Now YY Wonka putting one in with an excellent centering attempt there. It's going to be YY Wonka. What a bank shot there. Oh, my goodness. I'd say that was sweeter than Mr. Wonka's candy himself. Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka, of course, though. As now YY Wonka... He says, why, why not get five? As this Tigers team, as I said, it almost seemed like that, sec th that uh, second game woke them up. As they have come out with a uh, ferocity that we haven't seen yet. As another shot there, Griff 522 trying to chase after it. He just misses wide from long distance. Trying to snipe that one in from three quarters of the field. Now, why, why, Wonka missing? Oh, this could be an attempted shot on net here, but Ragey the Cracker. He's calm, he's cool, and he's collected at all times. Oh, Ragey the Cracker faking in. What a shot. Oh, my goodness. Look at this little, this veteran play right here by Bernhard. He spins back, acts like he's going to fly towards the ball, lets it bounce, and then just the slightest little touch around the defender. Just tap it in. That's all you got to do sometimes. 
as dumping core. Chasing after it, looking to get himself a little self-service. Drum for life, nine passing it to Blizzy R. Blizzy RL with the shot, just missing high. <coughs> Five to nothing to score here. The Tigers lead. Ragey the Cracker, YY Wonka and Griff 522 are on a mission today. And that mission is Ragey the Cracker again. And to go over the mission. That's to win this BC series right here, and they're doing a pretty good job. I mean, Ragey the Cracker hit, hit that sideways. Looked like he was about to capsize if he was in a boat. Ragey the Cracker is uh, doing some crazy things. And that the passing, Griff 522 is everywhere. Had a little bit of a rough first game, but man, has he really uh, picked things up. As now Blizzy RL looking to center one in towards the middle. And uh, the defense of the Tigers thus far has been unbelievable as well. I mean, to hold a shutout in Rocket League two games in a row, if they can end up doing it, is not easy. Especially just with the uh, randomness of a lot of the bounces off the ceilings and such. I mean, someone's bound to knock one into their own net. You know, someone's bound to accidentally hit one right to a defender or right to an offensive player. But they haven't even done that. They've made zero mistakes thus far. As Ragey the Cracker wants another one. Ragey won a cracker. Ragey the cracker centering it in. This could be a really influential ball here. Gets to it himself, chips it over to defender. He's still, oh my goodness, Ragey the cracker has a chance to go in on net, but Blizzy RL is there. As we have 30 seconds left in this one, six to nothing. It ended up being a route, but, they, you know, those first two games, as Blizzy RL gets the consolation prize there, all based off of effort. I mean, look at this. He knocks down through two people. That nice pass off the wall from dumping core as Danville gets a consolation here late. So, unfortunately for the Tigers, not two straight shutouts. And a nice job faking there and uh, getting a set face-off play by the Ironmen. that ball bouncing around in the Tigers half now Blizzy RL he gets the two Blizzy RL had quite a game in that first and second game and now uh, look at this self-service right here I mean that ball is just unbelievable he sets himself up so well I, I think he'd have a hard time missing that shot that's how well he passed it back to himself as now with five left, it looks like that's going to conclude uh, conclude this one. Ball still bouncing around. We don't want to say anything just yet, as these games can go on a bit after the ball hits the ground. Why, why Wonka still chasing after it. Ball still up in the air. We got a chance for one more, and that one finally hits the turf. And the Tigers win this series three to one. Wow, what an evening of Rocket League here. Of course, we saw Danville winning the first series 3-0, and now the Tigers winning 3-1 in the B series. But man, some influential play, some ridiculous teamwork, and some fun for the whole family if you're at home watching. So 3-1, Southern winning the B series. Danville wins 3-0 in the A series. My name is Luke Smith. Uh, Thank you for listening in to Rocket League. Today, our upcoming schedule, Danville will play Montgomery in the uh, CSEL tournament. That's uh, to be announced on the time and all that jazz. So visit the website to learn more about the, the league here, everything going on with um, the Danville Esports, also known as 4GD Esports. Um, and seriously, thank you all for listening, tuning in. And why don't you try to come back next week, or excuse me, on the 19th, this is a bye week. Because if you couldn't tell, things get a little bit heated in here. I know I'm sweating. Luke Smith signing off here from Danville, Pennsylvania. Thank you once again for tuning in to the CSEL.